Mount yeah. Pleasant and <laughs> Wayne Gordon wearing the captain's armband for Mobe United. This is how the champions will line up. It's an unchained squad. Shaquan Davis between the sticks. Makala was five goals so far this season. Cummins, Doxley, Shaquille Dyer, Kimoni Bailey. They're wisely glad to have him back, they would say, from injury. Shaquille Bradford with second on the goal scoring charts with 10. Nathaniel James, the Trinidadian, 19-year-old, is in. Romeo Guthrie, the former captain of Arnett Gans, and Demario Phillips. Daniel Green completes the lineup. He'll play in that wide area. Uh, a couple of seasons ago, the leading goal scorer in the Premier League. Yeah, this will start as a 4-3-3, but if you watch Mount Pleasant before, you know there's a lot of rotation. So, so much we see Cummings going down on that right-hand side. Their captain, Sule Makala, inverting inside. So much rotation and movement with Mount Pleasant. This Mobile United team, they'll have to be very live to that. This is how they'll line up. They'll be playing with a 4-2-3-1. William Ferreira between the sticks. Hospitalis, the Trinidadian as well. The Brazilian, Korea. And yeah, and Ferreira as well, who wears the number 10 in the middle of the park, who will string things for them. Creativity from a creative voice perspective. Triminam, another Trinidadian in the squad as well. Nevon Turner, Dane Niche, Gregson President, the St. Lucian, and young Leo Campbell in the starting lineup as well to partner Courtney Allen and Wayne Gordon. Yeah, we're going to see maybe not as much rotation as we would see with Mount Pleasant, but this formation, we're going to see maybe see Jordan Fletcher. One. Big picture, and it required a big central referee in O'Shea Nation. Number two in the land in terms of FIFA officials behind Indian Parchment, who is out injured. And yet, he had a busy opening to this one. Lots of fouls in it, and this strike from Ferreira, which was stopped at the near post by Shaquan Davis, who he himself had a, a good game, Shaquan Davis. In fact, both keepers did. Ferreira was called into question here from Romeo Guthrie, but this shot flew in wide. Both teams had their moments in the first half. This was the first goal of the encounter. What a pass from Ferreira, who picked up yet another assist. And Wayne Gordon opened his body well to slot it past Davis. Davis beaten for pace and accuracy. And Mobe were away. 29 minutes down, Mobe away from home with a one-goal lead. Mount Pleasant said, well, Look, we are the champions, we know how to fight, we are resilient, we are at home. And Daniel Green found home as he slotted this pass. William Ferrer, not an easy keeper to beat, the Brazilian. But Daniel Green, very prolific in this competition. That's his fifth this season. The former Golden Boot winner with Mount Pleasant. It was a big battle within the park, within the middle of the park. Courtney Allen had this strike that hit the upright. He came close, Allen. Davis was beaten, but luckily for him, the frame of the goal to his rescue. And then this strike from Phillips. What great technique. Look at this. It was going left of Ferrer at first, and then late swirl to the right. Produced the best out of the Brazilian to push it over the bar. Mount Pleasant, they continue to come forward. James with the strike. Difficult technique for the 19-year-old, and he couldn't get it right. Pulling it wide of Ferreira's goal yet again. This was the best chance of the second half for Mobe United. Ferreira, after allowing that to go across his body, should have put it into the bigger area to the right of Shaquan Davis. Tried to go near post cheekily, and the goalkeeper was equal to the task. Then Allen towards the back post, and Ferreira probably should have stuck out a left foot. It wasn't to be for Courtney Allen. James produced some telling deliveries from the wide areas, asked some questions, but both defense lines, they stood up strong. They shared the spoils here at the Jackson Sports Complex. One all. Nineteen shots between the two, just seven on target between the two. It was a tight encounter. Look at that, 22 fouls spread evenly. Three yellow cards shown by O'Shea Nation. They came early, and he kept good control of this fixture. There were five corners for Mount Pleasant. They enjoyed majority of the attacking play and a majority of the possession as well at 53%. But even at home, they couldn't break down this stubborn Montego Bay United side. 
it ends 1-1. Dwight Jeremiah is the old man of the match. The man from St. Lucia, Gregson President. Uh, President Gregson, you, you, you're from St. Lucia, but you've owned a Jamaica Premier League match today. You played like a man inspired. Uh, just walk me through your role today because you started out as a double alongside to make a double pivot, but very often you were forward making those passes or applying the press. Yeah, my role today was my role today was joining the attack when we have possession of the ball, so that we can have more numbers up top and try and create opportunities for our team. Yeah, that was one aspect of it, but so often you were the man back, um, winning that second ball, breaking up an attack, and you didn't show any sign as a player coming back from an armstring injury. Well. Hard work, hard work, hard work. What did you make of your, your teammates' performance today and the point? How do you view the point as a, as a yeah. team? Did you think that you di you're disappointed that you should have more or you're satisfied? No, nah, we should have won the game, but it all comes down to moments. We scored and switched off as soon as we scored, and the team took advantage and cost us the game. Well, good performance from you. You were good going forward and good in defense. All the best. Thank you. There we have it. Our man of the match, player of the game, he was, he was quite good. Um, good